Right, let's get into something that's probably one of the most asked questions that I get. How the hell do I give value on social media or on Instagram? And there's actually lots of interesting things to you know, say about just that, of, you know, giving value and stuff like that. And lucky for you, my friends, because it just happens to be one of the chapters in my upcoming program called Unemployed, where we basically talk about building up a sustainable brand on social media, you know, marketing tactics, branding tactics to actually stand out from the crowd, and basically turning your Instagram into your career, which is not that difficult, to be honest. Anyway, I just figured out that I kind of forgot the intro, so. Welcome back, my friends. My name is Dominic. That's that's actually kind of awkward because I just talked about what I usually talk after the intro, All right? So we're talking about giving value on social media. So let's just hop into the chapter of my upcoming program called Unemployed, and you will see what's up in there, and then you'll actually know how to give value. All right? We'll see you inside. All right, people. Um, we've tackled this one in the previous chapters a little bit, but now let's actually dig a little bit further into this whole value giving thing you know on social media that everybody pretty much talks about right so naturally you have your social media presence here for example your instagram profile um and um actually it kind of looks like a face anyway and you have your audience right your audience right here now the audience is going to come your profile and basically when you've done all the steps that we previously talked about in the profile optimization thing you know they go through all of that you've optimized all of that they're um, pretty much going to stick right ideally stick and first and foremost foremost follow you hit that follow button the only thing is your content needs to be really good and that's pretty much what I always talk about in my videos you know you have to have good content so what is that mysterious thing called good content Basically, good content is anything that gives value, right? And value, like we already mentioned in uh, the other uh, chapter here, can be different things. First and foremost, it can be either entertainment, could be inspiration, or could be how-to or information. I just put an H here because like two eyes. Basically, no. Like entertainment, you entertain people information uh, inspiration you inspire people of course how to you or, or information you you show people how to do things also you need to be really aware that value can be different to each individual person so what one might find valuable the other might not and you know this is something to keep in mind when crafting your whole content and your social media strategy you need to be aware that you can never satisfy each and every one with every post and every part proposition or product you just need to be aware there's there's some uh, you know methods to actually double down on that we're going to talk about that in a minute but just be aware sometimes it's it's just not there for it, you know, everyone for example sometimes people report a massive drop in engagement and they write me and then all of a sudden i see okay the one post that has this massive drop of engagement is just different than the other ones or it's like a different kind of things like people usually don't measure their own posts in terms of you know entertainment information or uh, the inspiration you know they just don't think about it they just put out posts and they think okay that's just a post it kind of looks the same but you know when in reality it's totally different from the psychological standpoint right so sometimes for example they do inter or information or inspirational content all the time with their instagram account and all of a sudden they uh, put some I don't know, uh, entertainment, their image or like the image quality or there's like a different style and feel to it. And all of a sudden, of course, people, they're like, oh, that's actually not what I subscribe to. That's actually not why I follow this profile. So this could be one of the reasons why sometimes engagement drops happen. Just wanted to tell you that. So to actually find out what might be valuable for your audience, there's one important thing that you need to know, right? It's your audience. <laughs> if you already have somewhat of an established Instagram page, you know it, it might be a little bit easier to figure out your audience because you, know, you kind of know it already. But still, I'd highly recommend you to go through the following exercise with me, no matter what state you're in, right? Whether you haven't even started or you already have somewhat of an established page. Remember when I told you about the 1,000 true fans and that basically all that you need is you know a thousand true fans to make it, you know, if you will. 
So uh, while this thing actually talks about one step further, the monetization aspect of your brand, be it online or offline, or social media brand, it can be and should be actually applied to the preceding step, which is actually the step that we're in right now, uh, which is actually getting those followers and fans first and foremost. Kind of meta, but whatever. So because if you really think about it, a follow from someone is and its basic core nothing else than a purchase in, in some sort of sense right someone is actively giving you something and hope to get something back in return right in this case it's not money in exchange for a product in this case it's pretty much you know value in exchange for attention and basically that's all that you need if you got lots of attention you can then in turn use that to monetize it. But you know, let, let's not get confused here. So how would you actually figure out what value people want or expect from you? First of all, we have to try to define what I'd like to call our one true fan, right? Uh, basically, it's a single person who deeply resonates with your content or social media uh, stuff. And if you pretty much can find one of these people, they're really into the content that you put out. You can you know, always use marketing tactics and other stuff to find a thousand other ones. So you want to pinpoint this one person. And then if you got that, we'll go out and search for the other 999, right? So what you want to do here is to try to clearly craft a fictional person who your one true fan is, right? What's their age? What's their occupation? What's their outlook in life? What hobbies are they into? What other Instagram pages are they following? Are they following you because you know of the captions in your posts or because of your pictures? And what do they you know seek from you? What kinds of stuff do they seek from you? You know, are they into mostly into entertainment? Are they mostly into information? Or are they mostly into inspiration? Right. So most of the times, you won't come up with uh, a clear answer to the last question, right? Lots of people seek for more than just one of those things, meaning they're not only looking for entertainment or only inspiration or only information, right? They may be actually looking for all three. And that's why Instagram is actually really great, my friends. The best thing that you can do is to just start, you know, to actually figure out what, 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 what they really are into is to actually start putting out all three kinds of content and just wait and see. And that's pretty much, you know, a lot of the times that you need to do that on Instagram, just put stuff out, test it, feel tested and just wait and see. Right. And the data is just going to show after some time. It's important though, that you try to get together, you know, real and usable data because, you know, sometimes people, they think like putting out two posts and, you know, that's all they need. No, you need to gather real and usable and lots of data. You know, make a list and track all of your posts for a month or probably even more and try to see if there's any correlation between what kinds of posts you put out there. You know, for example, if you see that you somehow have a 15% drop of engagement each time that you post an inspirational post, you pretty much know what's going on, right? That's it. No inspirational posts anymore. And you don't only have to think it, you know, in that sense of, you know, those three kinds of categories that can be anything literally you know if you do like some flat lace in between like the posts like the photos themselves if you post post flat lace and you kind of have a correlation that you know whenever i post flat lace i have a slight slightly less engagement i have slightly less engagement yeah you know pretty much right people are not that into flat lace so the thing that you pretty much always want to do is kind of take a look at what correlates between your posts what works better what doesn't work better and always if you have you know suspicion always try to back that thing up with data with real data because sometimes it's just you know the algorithm being weird or you know just pure chance but if you have data long-term data for example for a month or more you can pretty much say okay this is like a thing this I might be onto something and then you can change and adapt. Right. So in the next chapter, we're going to talk about the content strategies and how you can actually figure out a consistent and viable content and posting strategy, because that's 
one thing that people ask me probably that's one of the most things about content that i get asked right people that was it um by the way totally forgot to say please hit that subscribe button if you want to have more of these kinds of videos you know the things that you just saw are taken directly from my upcoming program called unemployed we talk about basically all the strategies from building up a you know successful instagram page to actually monetizing and it's going to be a big part of it you know turning this thing into a sustainable career and no if i said it yesterday we're not going to talk about you know sneaky ways you know dm group tactics we're talking about real tactics real sustainable marketing stuff branding stuff you know to actually build a sustainable brand anyway my name is dominic if you didn't know i kind of forgot that it was kind of Anyway, I'll talk to you in a couple of days and um, well, that's been it. See you later. There's someone walking.